Hello and welcome back. Let's remove unwanted shine on portrait photos. There are multiple ways of achieving this. In this video I will share one of the easiest methods. Let's first start by adding an empty pixel layer by pressing the new pixel layer icon in the channels panel. The idea is to patch the shine areas in the face from areas that do not have the shine. For this I will use the patch tool from the tools bar. The patch tool allows you to select an area and replace it with another area, exactly what we need. You might wonder why I started by adding a pixel layer first. Well, I want to work non-destructively, meaning I don't want to alter the original layer. So the patching I'm going to do will be on this pixel layer. This way the original image stays intact. To get the patch tool working correctly on the current empty pixel layer, we need to make sure it samples from current layer and below. This will allow the tool to treat all the layers as one layer, but the changes will be made in the selected layer. Perfect, I hope that makes things clear. Now I just select an area with shine by pressing and holding the left mouse button. When I release my mouse button the area is set and I can now move my mouse to an area I want to use which doesn't have the shine. In this case I think the area around the model's forehead on the top right is suitable. As you notice Affinity will show you a preview of the end result while moving the mouse. When you click with the mouse on the area it will be applied. I can now continue the same process for all the other areas. So let me do that for the area above her eye and the shines on her nose by selecting it and sampling it from an area without shine. Perfect, we removed the shine, easy peasy. Let me turn off the layer to see the before. Pretty cool how they are removed when I turn back on the layer. One final step to make it blend in better is to set the layer to darken blend mode. This way we probably keep some of the original pixels in the face and only darker pixels will be painted on. This makes the final result look more natural. If you think the effect is too much you can always lower the opacity which I would definitely advise just to make it look more natural. One thing I like to do sometimes is to add a curves layer and lower the brighter areas. This affects the whole image of course, but if I open the blend options from the cogwheel in the channels panel and adjust the underlying layers blend curve just applies a little bit on the mid bright areas the effect is almost neutralized and helps with blending the layer in a more natural way. Again this depends on the image and on this image the effect is very minimal. Basically that's it. In the next upcoming videos I will share another technique for removing shines which in some cases might work better. If you're interested keep watching as I will do some more adjustments to this image. If you're still watching the next step we're going to do is to highlight the eyes which I will do by adding a curves adjustment in which I will increase the highlights. Let me invert its mask with command I and then paint with white on the eyes to brighten them. To give the eyes but also the face a bit more contrast I will add another curves adjustment but this time I will adjust it to darken the image. As I only want specific areas to be darkened I'm going to invert it with command I. With a soft white brush I will paint around her eyes and continue painting on the hair and the face so that we get a bit more depth in the image. Next thing I notice in this image are the white points in the eyes. They are a little bit too white. So I will paint over them in a new pixel layer with a color from our eyes. If I put the layers blend mode to darken it will only affect the white dots in the eye. Let's have a look what we already did by turning off the layers. Pretty nice. There are some shadows that I do not really like. Just like with removing shines 
I will use the patch tool on a new pixel layer and sample from lighter areas. This time, however, the layer will be sent to lighten mode as we just want to lighten the shadows. Great, looks much better. Okay, maybe another curves layer to increase the highlights for the eyes again. I will invert and paint on the areas in the eyes that need a little bit more light. I think the right side of the eyes need it as the light is coming from that side. And of course, we can always adjust the curve so we get the brightness we are looking for. Optionally, just for fun, let me add another curves layer in which I will increase the greens. I will invert it and paint on the eyes to make the eyes more green. To wrap up, some fine adjustments like some extra brightness on the eye white and opacity control to dim down the effects. And here is a before and this is our after. Not bad in 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. Until next time.